All right, so. Now, I may not be the expert <laughs> on wearing jewelry, clearly, right? But I could be the expert on cleaning jewelry after today. Okay. What did you find, Bray? Well, I'm online. I'm kind of looking up things that I think would be interesting for the show. And one of them was ways to clean jewelry using products you got in the house already. And what's interesting is that there's this little concoction. It's so simple to do either using Coke for one type of jewelry or aluminum foil and baking soda for the other. So can I tell you what gets on your jewelry because you don't wear jewelry right. all the time? Go ahead. It's hairspray and that's sticks, it's lotion. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, anything you're putting on your face or spraying or perfume, it just the film gets mm -hmm. on it and you try to rub it off and it just sticks. Well, right and just it. the oils from your skin I over agree. time, right? Like it yeah. totally wears on your nice jewelry. So you have another, you have a couple of things that you're fighting against with your jewelry, obviously. So what I wanna do first, let's start with the Coke because that'll be easiest. And while you're working on that, we can go back to this other That's thing. Really so when I it do, is hot. Wait, did you heat up Coke? I boiled the Coke. So we now have a boiling pot of Coke <laughs> okay. right here this in front of Nisha. <laughs> what I want you to do is take off any jewelry that you have. You okay. want to see if it can work. We're going to leave it in there so for the duration I'll be of the segment. With you and our viewers, I don't buy expensive jewelry. Like okay. that is, everyone has their favorite thing. Mm -hmm. This is costume jewelry. So okay. we'll see if. I don't do a lot of like. So not real things. silver. No, no so not, we'll see okay. what Coke does to it, like it does to my insides. We'll see. Right. What so what I do is lay it in the Coke, okay, and obviously it needs to be boiling. Now, if you're doing this the right way, you're leaving it boil, leaving it boiling for three to five minutes ish in okay. there. Now, the reason now, is why this is this meant for silver or gold? This or? is for most things except silver. Okay. So and you have actually, to leave it in there. Just oh, let sorry, it be. Don't touch. Yeah, you don't to watch a boiling water. Right? I'm the person with right? the crock pot that keeps opening the lid. A boiling pot never <laughs> boils, right? That's how it goes. A watch pot never boils. Anyway, good job. So yeah, there you go. So the reason why you want to leave that in there is because Coke has this caustic uh, element to it mm -hmm. that strips off toxins that you find from the hairspray, from all those kinds of things. And when you're drinking Coke, it's it also strips those toxins kind of in you, you right? right? About like what's going on you inside be worried. me. You actually every day when I drink us. my daily diet coke. <laughs> right. So we're gonna let that sit for a minute but and just see what happens at the end of the segment. See how much difference we can make. Sparkling like, clean, really, really okay. clean. Yeah. Right. All now, this wasn't boiling. While we're waiting for coke. that, let's move on to <laughs> this one right here. So you've got this setup right in front of us of this beautiful silver bracelet. Yeah, Tiffany's. Right. This is right? a Tiffany's bracelet. This is what it looks like now. Can we show the before look shot of what this looked like probably like 15 minutes ago? Because we have a photo of that we sent in just a couple minutes ago. How I did show you, you scrub it, is. Brian? Did no scrubbing. No? Zero scrubbing what whatsoever. What did you do to that? I feel like we're on one of those shows where we're like, you can buy this product today. <laughs> anyway. Call 1-800. So what it is, it's really simple, is you get a bowl, you take a little bit of uh, tin foil. There's the before photo. Isn't that crazy? <gasps> it's so tarnished. No, it's night and day. I yeah. mean, the and this silver's is, completely by the way, tarnished. Jesse's grandmother's from many, many, many years ago. So this is years of buildup, mm -hmm. right? That right? she's had in so, her closet. So that's the before, and mm -hmm. then take a look at it again. If you take another shot, this is the after, so you can compare and contrast. You brought wow. it back to life. Isn't that's that crazy? Right? Isn't that crazy? Okay, well, how did you do it? So it's so simple. All you do is you take, again, boiling water, mm -hmm. right? You okay. want to boil some water here, about a cup or so, just enough to be able to cover the jewelry, right? Then you're going to take about a tablespoon of baking soda, just like this right here. Okay. And put it in that mixture, let it kind of heat up and kind of build together. And then you're going to take a bowl with a little bit of aluminum foil kind of crumpled into the bottom. That's important because you're going to take the old piece of jewelry, lay it onto that uh, aluminum foil and then pour the mixture over the top of that and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Hmm. So now what's happening there is that the tin foil is help and the baking soda are reacting together, right? They're having a chemical reaction. The baking soda is pulling all those toxins out and the tin foil is pulling the toxins <laughs> Bailey the from science kid. I know you're doing out. another right? science <laughs> segment. I, I right? can't believe you didn't even like brush it around. Not a dang thing. You need to really? be your next guest author, right? No, like, I'm not that good. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm just trying to be able to survive, trying to be able to show you how to do this. And we thought, we just thought, even right? if it, it doesn't impressed. even work, at least you know it doesn't work. Okay. But here, it actually did work. Should we look at my work. costume jewelry? Yeah, so pull that out and see if it made any difference there. Okay, I feel like we should have looked at it before. Because you have the top of it was uh, Look how exposed. Much 
<laughs> when it comes to hairspray, you know everything um, in my house is coated. Actually, it totally is. The bottom is what was in it. Look, it's more shiny. And it's way and it more before. shiny than this piece up here. Can't you tell? And it smells like sugar, which mm. I love. Yeah, <laughs> and maybe a little sticky. <laughs> Brian Sierra with Jewelers just called. They're wondering if you're free later. Right. To do some but jewelry. Stuff, it has to work with silver. It actually did work for us today. Yeah. So if you cool. want to uh, clean your jewelry along with us, always go to our website. We'll link this segment mm. right there, abc4.com slash gtu. And coming up next, a huge project in the valley is finally finished and we are getting a peek inside. That we are and still ahead.